Welcome back to the Lego Harry Potter Your Spawn Through for 100% walkthrough on the PlayStation 3. This part 38 and this part we're going to do level 5 of year 1, the Forbidden Forest, in free play mode. So yet again, as I know you're thinking, I'm going to play as Tom Riddle. Uh, I always do because he's the dark wizard and we need dark wizards and yes we need a dark wizard in this part so I would suggest on this level so I would suggest just getting the dark wizard because you really do need him now as always we're going to get everything as we get in free play modes so true wizard uh, the character studs student in peril and the uh, Hogwarts house quests. So we're going to get them all. And you will see that as well. Um, yeah, what I was supposed to say. Yeah, there, you can see just over there, there is a student trapped in um, that plant. So that's the student peril that we're going to get. So let's just go over here and save him straight away. Like so. And there we say them, so we got to this, uh, true wizard. We got student pearl already. If you just dig here, you'll just get a few studs, but you can always get it if you want to because you need studs. And now you have to use um, crucial on these rocks. So if you get, if you use it on ten of these those rocks, you will get something, and we will see what that is later when we actually do get them all. Now some, um, yeah, if you dig there, you will get Fang. Fang gets Fang, so, yep, you, you are going to need Fang, like, quite a lot. So I would suggest that after this one, you just, after this level, you go and buy some characters, which is actually what I'm, uh, what I am going to do. Because you need characters. You need a little bit of everything, don't you? Yes, you do. Um, go up here as Fang, but I went up as Tom Riddle. But you actually have to get up as Tom Riddle as well, though, because of the rock, so. Yeah, just go up as Tom Riddle, and then you can just switch to Fang. And dig. And these bow truckles will come out, and then they will go over there and make a stair. For you. Like that. So you can use it. Blue star there, so you have to get that. Now, if you get all of these flowers that are down here, there are three of them, yeah, you will get a house crest, I think it is. Might be a character starter, but I'm pretty positive that it is a Hogwarts house crest. I think so. And there's the second one. They're quite close to each other, actually. And they're not hard to get at all. Not at all, actually. So, yeah. And there's a third one already. And we get the Hufflepuff house crest. And here something happened that I got stuck in all of the plants and it was really embarrassing. There I got stuck in the plant even though I'm not close to it at all. But yeah, that was quite annoying. Just look at that. I wasn't close to it at all and I got trapped. That was stupid. Now I'm getting stuck again. Oh, that's annoying. Get out of the fucking flower. Flower? Plant. Isn't it just Devil's Snare, though? Or something like that? I think it might be. Just switching characters to what I want them to be. Now, you see these in the ground. Those, I don't know what you're supposed to call them, but those creatures. Yeah, you got them in years 5 through 7 as well. Just point that out. But you actually get quite a lot of studs from them, which is quite great. And you get it from these things that stick up from the ground as well. I don't know what I'm going to say about that, but you do. Um, yeah, here's some play. You, um, lol, what I was going to say. Um, yeah, Fang can dig here. So we're going to switch to Fang. And dig. And you will go through and continue on. Like so. And then we're down here with more of these stupid creatures or insects they actually look like. And I get stuck in the fucking plant again. Sorry about me swearing, but it's really annoying because you're not close to it at all. 
and you still get caught by it. It's so annoying. I got pretty pissed when I was doing that actually. Oh, it was quite annoying. But I, of course I did get out of it. There's the, uh, another rock. I think that's the third one or something like that. I might be wrong, but I think it is the third one. And I died from the plants, which is not great. Get studs. I have to save Tom Riddle. Saving Tom Riddle, that's the first time. It's the first time for everything. Yep, go over here and you go, uh, take out Luma Salam. And he will fall down and you don't have to be honest well. It's a long mission to save Harry Potter though. It is. Now, here's quite a lot of things uh, to do, actually. It's quite a lot, and I'm sleepy, and I'm yawning. Sorry about that, I'm just yawning, like, a lot. Because I've had exams these two days, and that's not great. But there, inside that chest, is the Hagrid character, Stud. And he's very useful as well, because he's strong. Uh, so we're going to need him, like, a lot in the game, actually. In the few play modes. So I would just suggest getting it. Up there you can see three blue studs and a purple stud. So that's 30, 13,000 studs. So we have to get it to get through a third. Now something I haven't said about this level yet is it's really hard, really hard to get through a wizard in this level it's like the first level when it's really really hard to get your wizard like you have to destroy everything and get studs out of everything to get your wizard in this level and that is true you have to which is actually at the end of this level i had to go like back and uh, search for studs which is actually something i did and i had to do that but i did cut it out because it went over 20 minutes and i don't want that so I had to cut it because, yeah, I had to cut it. But yeah, I would just suggest destroying everything you see because you need all of the stars you can possibly get in this level because it's very hard to get through. So, it's not of one of these rocks. That's a six out of ten. Then this waterfall. There's some studs. Now, if you use some kind of Naviosa on these fish and get them into the water. All six of the fish. This is the third one. This is the fourth one. And where's the fifth and sixth one? There's the fifth one. And there's the sixth one. There's the fifth one. Sixth one. And you will get the Gryffindor house crest. Which is really cool. And inside here, there's a skeleton. That also gives you the... That also gave you... That also gives you the Ravenclaw house crest. The two house crests very close to each other. So you have to go down here to get them. Because you need them. Um, here's another one of those um, digging places that Pan can dig in. That only gives you studs. But as I said, have to get as many studs as you can. Of course. So make that go up like so. Because we're going to go over there. Of course we are. But yeah, I ha I've had exams today. And I've had exams yesterday. Because I came up in Norwegian. Which is my first language. I came up in Norwegian. And we have Norwegian exams. In Norway you have to have... Um, you have to write a story. And then you have to write like... An article or something like that like something like that I don't know what you call it in English but it's like Sakrusa it's kind of like that so I had the story today and I had the article I didn't write an article but I, I don't know what it's called in English so I wrote that yesterday and I think it went quite great actually I think it went okay hopefully it went okay because it didn't went if it didn't go okay I'm going to cry Actually, I am going to cry if it goes bad. But that's another story. Really, it is another story. So here's another one of these rocks. 
that's a 7th out of 10. Uh, we're very close to the three last ones as well. So you will get them soon. There's the 8th one. And as you can see, I'm trying to get a load of studs because we need it. Get the studs. Get a lot of studs in this uh, level as well, though, which is very cool, uh, very nice, very okay. And that's the ninth one, I believe. And uh, the tenth one is over here. So, yeah, they're very close to the third last one. On the rock over there, you can see Unicorn Blood. And that's the tenth rock. You will get the Slytherin house cards out of those, and that's all four of the house cards need to breathe in this level but oh, that is great yep um, I'm going to go over here and get some studs shocking kill these plants because they're really annoying me are there some studs in the corners yes there are a blue stud now let's just put together this tree like so Look, so just do now. Put it together with Ungarim Nebiosa like that. Have, I actually have to use Ungarim Nebiosa on the tree two times. Actually, which something that is really fun about this game is that the Lego pieces in this game is actually the real Lego pieces that was in um, the Lego figures that you got. I actually had the I actually had that tree in real life. But there we got a purple stud, sorry about the awkward editing. But we got the purple stud, so we got to reassert. Yeah, that was really bad editing actually. But now we're going to return to the end because we're going to finish off the level. Now we've um, got the true wizard, that which is quite great. So now I don't have to get to reassert in this level again, which is really great to think about actually but let's go over to the tree climb up and then go in here and finish off the level yay so let's see what we got we got fang that's the character stud that's unlocked we got hagrid and the third one we got a draco hogwarts Yes, that's all of the character starts. We got all four house first, Gryffindor, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, and Hufflepuff. Like that, so we got the H in the middle for Hogwarts. True Wizard, I know we got that because that was a pain in the arse. So we got that. Um, yeah, we got 78 and a half thousand studs. That's quite great. That's quite great. Nearly 900,000 studs. Which we have to have student peril and from that we are going to get three gold bricks so that's going to be 56 gold bricks isn't it yes it is and just exit the level now i am um, sorry about the hiccup you can't hear the hiccup but i do got a hiccup we're going to go to madame malkins and buy Hagrid, Phalanx, and Draco Hogwarts, and I think maybe some other ones, maybe? Might be. I'm not sure. We'll see when we actually get there then. Though. So here we are in the Leaky Cauldron. Just go outside the Leaky Cauldron, like so. Why am I talking so strange? I don't know. I'm just very weird. Sorry. I apologize. Um, of course, each time I go to Leaky Holder and I just get these studs because you might as well get them because they give you some extra studs. Over a thousand studs they give you, which is uh, which is something that you actually need. So let's go over here and buy some characters to see what we're going to buy. We're going to buy... Let's see. Hagrid. 56 or something thousand studs. And we're going to buy Riz Draco Hogwarts. I know it's quite close. I know that. Because he's an important character. There we got him. Um, 75,000 studs. For Draco. That's not great. 
I know that Fangs is quite a lot back in the list because it's Fangs, it's not really that important. But something that you guys probably didn't know is that Fangs, I, I don't know what the dog breed is called, but I really love that breed. I love it. I would like a dog like that. That's the end of this part. Join me in part 39 when we will do the last level in year one. See you then.